Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the new Cookies Makery. This is the exclusive sweet treats oven. <laughs> so honestly, I don't know what this all entails, but it's some sort of kit and we get to make a surprise pet that's warm and scented, apparently. I'm very intrigued. So these are the ones we could possibly make. I really want Sourpuss but there's also Frosty Fido and Rasp Bunny Glaze. And then on the back, actually, I was hoping it would show the other ones of work to collect, but there's like another oven that you can commonly find almost everywhere, almost every retailer that carries these. Um, I forget what it's called, but anyway, this, this version right here is the exclusive one. There's another one out there that's more common. So anyway, uh, mix and make a surprise bake, mix your ingredients, make a shake, place an oven, reveal your surprise pet, warm and scented interactive plush, repeat play. I don't know how any of that works, but I'm excited, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this oven out of here and we're gonna get started. Okay, I have the oven out of the box. I don't know what we do, so I'm just gonna open this, okay? We've got a box and then I'll take these boxes out of here. These are just packaging boxes. Um, and then what? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we got to read the instructions. So we've got the recipe book instructions. We've got the recipe boxes. It seems like, like a little pre-made cake mix or something. But like I was saying, there's other ovens available. So these are the other ones you can find. But like I said, I want this one so bad. These are the three from this kit. Uh, required a water and mixing bowl. Uh-oh. I don't think I have one of those. <laughs> hey, I, I, we're in the process of moving, so. Uh, anyway, unboxing. So, let's, uh, okay, what do I do first? I mean, it does say twist and pull four transit screws from the base of the oven. Um, we will need to get that mixing bowl, hopefully. All right, then fill empty, bowl, empty sachets into bowls. So let me start off by turning this upside down. And we're gonna remove these little doodads. They are apparently important to remove. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to find something that resembles a bowl. It might not be a bowl, but it's gonna be something. So let's open this first and get out whatever is in here. Ooh, is that, oh, I thought it was a bowl. We got the pet mold. We've got the two mixes. We've got a bag. We've got a spoon, which I could use as for mixing. And then like a measuring cup, which is really cute. It's a little kitty. I wonder if that's a hint. Maybe I got the kitty. Let me go find a bowl though. Like I said, don't have a bowl, but I got this cup. Hopefully that'll work. So first step or second step, we empty both of the packets into the bowl. All right, so we've got these two packets. Don't know what they are, but we're doing it. We're like winging this. We don't even know what's happening. <laughs> you guys might know what's happening. I haven't seen any videos on this. I haven't seen nothing, but I thought this was intriguing. So um, you can see there's two mixes in there. So let's, or I mean the same mix in both things. All right, so we've got those in there. You can see it, lovely. Next, number three, we gotta fill the measuring cup with clean drinking water to the brim and add it to the bowl. So just that, just one thing of water, whoops, one of this of water, so I'm gonna go grab that. I have returned, I'm coming in with the water and we just add that in like so. Now the next step is stir ingredients and water together using the spatula spoon. So we will go ahead and do that. It's hard to film inside this cup, so just bear with me everyone. It is forming some type of dough I'm getting weirdly hungry for pizza I feel, or bread. I feel like I'm making pizza dough. All right, and then we can bring the dough together with our hands. All right, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, we're supposed to stir this for two minutes actually. Should I keep going for two minutes? Maybe I'll keep going for two minutes and then try using my hands. All right, we are at the point where we're bringing this together with our hands. So you can see it is, it's like a little dough. It's it's. It's almost, it's like a little on the dry side, but it's a dough. So next, 
I'm trying to, I gotta show you the instructions, but I have stuff on top of it. We gotta roll it into a ball and then push it into the pet mold. And then we add paw prints using the spatula. So, let's try to roll this into a ball. <laughs> oh, this is very interesting. Um, so we can go ahead and smish it in here. I don't know if there's supposed to be like leftovers and if I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do. But we're, we're going with it. We're figuring it out. <laughs> I almost want to just like peel off this extra, right? And then just go with what we have here. And now we'll take the little paw print. This is the paw print in print print thing. So we go ahead and put those. That's actually really cute. <laughs> I love that. And then let me try to get it in the feet down here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, next. Next. We need to... Take it out of the mold, so pinch both sides of the pet to release. And then we get to pull down the tab in the oven. All right, so let's, uh, whoo, oh my goodness, I just dropped it. We're good though. All right, here we go. This is our pet. Also don't know if this is a hint either. It looks like a doggy. So what do I do with it? Do I just, I don't know. I gotta find a tab in here. Oh, here it is. Whoop. okay. Uh, I removed it and I placed the dough in the oven like that and then we close the door like that and then we rotate the dial clockwise clockwise till it clicks. Whoa! You hear it? It's like counting down. It's like like a timer. So now wait for the timer to finish and the bell to ring which will be 1.5 minutes. Only open the door after the bell has rung. The plush will be warm. It, oh goodness, okay. And that'll be it. And then there's tips on how to replay it, which is really cool, and then there's battery placement. But the replay is really cool. So there, in case you wanna learn how to replay it, there you go. Um, you can pause it and look at it. But that's cool, I'm gonna do a little cleaning and we'll wait for the, the timer to go off. All right, you guys, the timer has gone off. Let's see, oh! Oh my gosh, she's literally warm. How does that even work? Okay, so let me, I don't know how any of this works. <laughs> I'm gonna push that off to the side. But here is our new little friend. Ooh, you smell so good, like vanilla, also maybe like strawberry. What was this one's name? Uh, or like, where did the thing go? Here it is. This one is Frosty Fido. So there's just like a little cake next to his picture, so. Anyway, really cute. Flatter than I expected, but this is really cool. I can't believe it's warm. I'm, I'm like, what? How did that even happen? He's so cute. So all his details are actually printed on the fabric too, so it's not like a weird sticker or anything. It looks really great, and it smells really great, and it looks baked and everything. Like, look at this. This is actually really fun. I don't know. I'm still like, how did this work? But <laughs> this is really cool. Um, there is a little page here on the the thing that says there's nurture, squeeze to activate nurture sounds. Three seconds squeeze starts two minutes of warmth. Your pet will go into sleep minute mode after two minutes of activity. So cool. So you can make your little pet warm. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I love this. And all of this facial stuff is um, printed on the fabric as well. This looks really good. I'm just excited about the smell. Like this whole thing was kind of crazy. I like this activity. It was really, really fun. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this cookies makery. Do you love it or do you love it? <laughs> no, seriously, let me know what you think. I thought this was a really cool activity. I didn't know where it was going or what was happening, but I was excited to try it and it's really cool. And then you have this cool like oven set too. Um, and I think this could be easily reused for some other dolls, like maybe some 18 inch dolls or something just for some Playtime, in case you aren't going to reuse it to keep baking this puppy over and over again. But you can also reuse it and replay with it. It's all so cool. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.